friends, welcome back. Today I'm going to help you save time and money by sharing multiple uses for single household products. We are going to look at three items that you probably have in your house right now and share some unusual uses for them. First product we are going to look at is masking tape and my first way to use this is to perfectly hang photos. It's not only going to help you hang your photos perfectly evenly, but it's going to help you space them up on your wall. Great for if you're doing something like a gallery wall. All you're going to do is take a piece of masking tape, the width of whatever you're hanging, and align it with the hook on the back of the frame that's used to hang it onto the wall. Then you're just going to mark where the hanger on the back of the frame is and then pull that piece of tape off. Now you can take that piece of tape and place it up onto the wall and this will allow you to sort of rearrange the tape and decide exactly where you want that frame to be. When you've found the perfect spot, all you need to do is take your nail and hammer it into the wall exactly on that spot on the piece of tape that you marked. The masking tape will then easily pull off the wall and you will have your nail in the wall in the perfect spot to hang your frame. I love this trick because it avoids having to put multiple holes into your wall trying to find that perfect spot and you're done. Another great use for masking tape is in the kitchen and I like to use this for anything that I might measure teaspoons worth of, so things like baking soda, baking powder, or cocoa. All you're going to do is take one or two pieces of masking tape and stretch it across one end of the container. Then you can use this basically as a little level, that way you can get a perfect little scoop every time you are measuring whatever this product is. And the nice thing is you can leave it on there forever, just put the top back on, throw it into your pantry, and it's ready to go next time you're ready to bake something. The next creative use for masking tape is to kitty proof outlets. This obviously works really great if you're a parent, maybe you're traveling, you're at a hotel, you can just stick a little masking tape over the outlets. Or if you're like me and you don't have children and you have friends who have children, they bring the children over and you realize your house is not childproof at all, you can stick a little bit of tape over the outlets to temporarily kitty proof the room. This last use for masking tape might seem sort of like a duh thing, but honestly I don't know. I never really thought about doing it and then I started doing it and it saved me a lot of hassle. And that's using a piece of masking tape to close up bags in the kitchen, things like crackers or potato chips or tortilla chips or whatever. I have those little clips that keep things closed but I'm always losing them or I don't have enough. A piece of masking tape is the perfect thing to keep that closed, but it's also resealable. You can open it up, get in the bag, and then close it up again. All right, next product we're gonna look at is the coffee filter. Obviously, I always have lots of coffee filters around and I love this because you can get like 250 coffee filters for like a dollar and 50 cents. So getting more uses out of them is going to be great bang for your buck. My first tip is to use coffee filters to keep your microwave clean. I hate when my microwave gets dirty. But if you have roommates or children or a husband, your microwave is probably going to get pretty dirty and this is a really easy way to avoid that. All you need to do is train the people in your house to use a coffee filter and place it over the top of whatever you're cooking. And this will act as a temporary splatter shield for whatever is in the microwave. Another way I like to use coffee filters in the kitchen is to put them in between my pots and pans, specifically my cast iron pots. Sometimes I'm hesitant to stack my cast iron pots because I don't want them to develop rust on the bottom or the top. A little coffee filter in between them will prevent that rust and keep them nice and safe. It'll also work for any of your Teflon pots to avoid scratching. I have a huge pet peeve about water stains on my wine glasses, but I hate using paper towels to get rid of them because then I end up with lint and nobody wants lint in their wine. Coffee filters is the perfect cure for that. You can easily polish away the watermarks and they're 100% lint free, so you're not going to end up with any lint on the glasses. Last use for coffee filters is great if you're somebody like me and you like to do lots of crafting. I like to use coffee filters as little containers to hold different items of what I'm doing. So if I'm crafting or if I'm building something, I can use it to hold all of the little pieces, maybe some beads, some nails, some screws. It's a great temporary little container to hold all little pieces when you're doing any type of crafting. All right, let's move on to our last item, the sock. These are all specifically really great uses for single socks. So, you know, that one lone sock that for some reason you have no idea where it's match went, here's some uses that you can do with it. First up, socks are really great for cleaning. You can just put them right over your hand and you can use them to just easily dust your space. I specifically like using them for my blinds because you can sort of like use your hand like a little sock puppet. You can get into each blind and really dust each one really well. You can also ball one up on the end of like a broomstick or any sort of handle and use it to get cut 
cobwebs in the corners of your house as well. Next up is using a sock to create a sock bun. I think sometimes we forget that the term sock bun actually came around because of a sock. All you need to do is cut the foot piece off of your sock and then roll it up into a little donut like this. I'm going to use a black one for my example since my hair is dark. So all you're going to do is gather your hair up into a ponytail, pull the sock donut all the way over your hair, and then pull it up to the ends of the hair. Holding the ends of your hair at the center of the sock, you're going to roll the fabric down towards the base of the ponytail. Your hair will sort of gather around the donut of the sock as you go. Then when you're down at the base of the ponytail, secure it with a couple of bobby pins and you're good to go. My last use for the lone sock is to make a little DIY air freshener. You can throw these into your dresser or I like throwing them into my luggage when I travel to keep all of my clothes nice and fresh. All you need to do is take a little bit of rice, a little bit of essential oil, mix them together, put it inside of your sock, and then you can either just knot the sock closed or you can secure it with an elastic. And this will keep everything in your suitcase smelling nice and fresh instead of gross and stale like suitcase clothes always seem to smell. If you like this video and you would like to see some other everyday uses for other household items, I have a lot of ideas. Make sure you let me know in the comments down below or give this video a thumbs up so that I know you would like to see that. As always, thank you so, so much for stopping by and watching. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day and I will see you all in my next video.